all started when I was about three. Yeah, that's when the trouble started. I knew, I just knew that I wasn't, I wasn't born right. There was something wrong and I couldn't quite put my finger on it. Went from just not understanding me to completely hating me. When I was a kid, I knew that there's something different about me. And a lot of people ha have issues and certain weird things that make them different, you know, when they're growing up. When I was a kid, all the ki all the other kids around me would be after girls or boys or whatever. But, um... I heard there were others just like me who knew that they should have been born something else. Someone else. I always knew there's something different because I wasn't really attracted to girls. It wasn't until much later in my life when I discovered who I really was. And it presented a lot of problems. I mean, I never felt right growing up. But the moment where I really discovered who I was, people started turning away from me. I would, I would go home. And on the way home, I would see these stray dogs and I would practice kissing them. So, I always knew there's something wrong with me. Or not wrong, but something different. Something that other people would think is wrong or weird. People I thought were my friends started treating me differently. I'd yell a lot. And I realized now that I was really just barking. You know? But I'm here to face that, obviously. I'm, I'm here to show you what it's like to be me. You know, I wasn't born this way, and that's part of why I'm here. You know, I was born different. But I'm finally discovering who I really am. And I started to find out these similarities in my life to that of a dog. But I met, um... I met my lovely girlfriend, love of my life. We were walking around the park one day and I saw her and she was just so beautiful. You know, and just so radiant and just different. You know, I knew something was different about her. I couldn't quite place it. I knew that she wasn't like the other people. I mean, I'd had sexual attraction to many, many dogs before, but she was different. She was human. And I was actually attracted to her. Like, not like her body, but I was attracted to her. I was attracted to her as, a, a, as an individual. And then, you know, <laughs> not oddly enough, later on I found out that she was really a cat. I mean, weird, weird twist of fate, I'm sure, because, you know, she's kind of been a dog. Welcome to my show! And this is a cooking show, and I will show you how to make salt, egg, sugar, water. Water. Yeah. <laughs> so, cha 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 And let me make this for you. Now, are there any volunteers? Oh, oh, me, me, okay, me. Okay, okay, you come. 
Okay. Now I want what I want you to do is fill this class. Okay, <laughs> with what? Water. Okay. Yeah. I need a spoon. Okay, now you have the water. Okay. Here's where it gets complicated. I'm going to take some sugar, about this much, and probably like this much, and pour it into the glass. Then you mix that up. Everybody got it? You take salt. You just sprinkle that on the top, but don't mix it in. Just sprinkle it on the top. And then you take an egg. You can crack it. So crack it, you said? Yeah. And then put it in there. Actually, you can just crack it. Just crack it. No, right there. Is it all set? Yes. Wow. That's good. Thank you. <laughs> Did you that, like it? I really like that is really, really good. Okay. <laughs> wow. Thanks. For the next segment, we're going to learn how to make lemonade. And that was our class.